Hi, I'm Yash. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to paint rocks. So let's get started. So we'll start off with some white, some brown, and just a touch of yellow ochre. Just to give it some flavor. Maybe we'll add in more of yellow ochre. Just was looking for a mid-tone color. And let's come right over here and drop in the basic shape of a rock. Okay, something comes off right over there. Okay, and don't over blend them. Let them be rough so that they look realistic and when you go ahead and add in the textures. Okay, something like that. And the upper part is busy drying. I'll take in some black and some brown and go ahead and add in the shadows for this. Okay. And maybe another one there. And maybe something comes off right over there too. Hmm. Now, we need to add in some textures for that. I'll take in some black with my number two fan brush. And I've taken off the excess paint as much as possible. And I'll come over here and start off from the shadowy region. Now, I'm not looking to paint grasses here. I want that texture of rocks. So I've taken off more paint from the brush. And just like that. And something comes off right over there. And it goes all the way up till there. And I'll go back and add in the highlights after this face. This is to get that texture and that roughness in the rock. And let's come right over here with some brown and white. And just drop in the highlights. Okay, something like that. And another one over here. We'll make it look realistic and natural. Lighten it up a bit. Don't want this to look like a straight line. So I can bring this over there. And something comes off right over there. Hmm. Now I'll take in more brown into that same pile of paint. Let's go right over there and drop in some of those highlights. Just trying to blend those colors together. Hmm. Now on that very same brush, I've barely loaded some paint. And let's come over here at the back of the rock and drop in some shadow there. Something comes off right over there. And I'm doing this to make the rock look very rough. And blur the bottom. Okay, something like that. So now I've taken in a soft peach color. And let's come right over here and drop in another type of rock. Okay, just darken it up a bit. Fair enough. And I've taken in some brown and black without cleaning the brush. And let's come right over here and drop that color in. So now I've introduced some bluish gray color into that same pile of paint without cleaning the brush. With that, that blending happens on its own. Okay, to make it look interesting, added more of blue and white. Okay, something like that. Now we'll go back to that same peach color and fill this up. It's okay. Look at that, it's that easy. Here I'm trying to blend them. And this will, this rock is going to be very texture-ish type. Now I've taken in some black on my number two fan brush. And I want this, the base of this rock to be very deep. And I'll add in some texture. Don't overdo it, keep on moving. You can follow certain angles, certain shapes, but don't follow any patterns. 
that I've not reloaded my brush now I'm taking in more of that color of black and brown and let's come right over here at the bottom and drop in some of those shadows okay something like that this is mid-tone so I'll have in some indications of shadow here and there in the mid-tone region okay just like that blur the bottom hmm. so now we need to highlight this and for that I'm taking some lime yellow and just a touch of white and look at that something comes off right over here too I'm doing this with my manipulated flat brush and making it something like that changing changing the shape yeah and some indications over here too will make it look realistic and natural look at that let the shadow not be in one single color let that also have different shades different some sort of interest hmm I just went ahead and added some more of that peach color at the top and let's add in the texture over there too hmm Another easy way to paint a rock is to just load in some mid-tone color. I've taken in some white, black, touch of brown and whatever color was left out on the brush. Just drop that color in as of now and I just went into some black and I'll drop in some of that color over here just in the shadowy region and just give it a slight tap blur the bottom just like that and you can take it all the way to there I've taken in more of white without cleaning the brush I'm just going to drop in a surface for that and let's go ahead and drop in a surface for this one grab in more of white just drop it in and you can also Blend them together. Hmm. And now I'll take in some of that same color which I painted the backdrop of that rock. And now let's go ahead and drop in over here. Okay, something like that. Do you can transfer these types of rocks into your landscape paintings? Taking in some black on that same manipulated flat brush. And let's come right over there and I should go real quick look at that without cleaning the brush I'm doing this all sorts of variations happening and I'll go back to my number two fan brush just tap it just blend them together taking in some white and just highlighting it and this is a mossy rock as you would have seen in the thumbnail okay something over there just gonna tap it with the number two fan brush and I'll take in some black and just drop it in and in some texture to make it look realistic okay something comes off right over there like that now I've taken some blue and some lime yellow, cobalt blue and some lime yellow. And let's come right over here and drop in the moss. Okay, it'll get darker to the shadow side. I'm just gonna tap it to blend them. That it's that easy, make them very uneven. I'm using the manipulated flat brush for this. something like that now I'll let it to dry 
I've let that to dry and I've taken in more of white into that same pile of paint. And let's go ahead and drop on some highlights. Fair enough. Now I've taken in more of blue. And just gonna drop it right there. So now with some black on my number two fan brush. Let's come right over there and add in some textures on the moss. Look at that, it's that easy. And as I come towards the lighter side, I'll apply less pressure. You can even wipe off your brush. Just gonna continue that all the way till there. Trying to make it very uneven. Taking some white with the help of the color also we can blend it. So as you can see I've barely loaded some white just on a hair or two on my brush and let's drop in a separation inside, a inside the rock. Okay just give it a slight tap just like that. Look at that it's that easy. Now I've taken in some blue and some white. I'm just gonna go there and drop in some more textures. That's enough. Wipe off the brush, go back and blend them, soften them. Okay, so I had some brown on my brush. I'm just going to take in some more black to add in the separation between the land and the rock. And add in some over there too in the highlights to add in some separation. With that, and you can blend it. Now I've taken in some orange and just a touch of white. I mean, in fact, I've added some brown into that. And in some water. And just making it look like that. Okay, that's a shallow river. Now I'll show you how to paint rocks inside that. But for that, this has to dry. Now on my manipulated flat brush, another one. Let's come right over here and drop in some rocks. These are the rocks. Add a just a tinge of blue to that. Orange and blue may give it a slight greenish cast. And some over here. You can add as few or as many as you want. Okay, just like that. And you can just give a slight blend. Take it in more of white. And we'll pop out some of those rocks just like that. Okay. Something comes off right over there too. That makes it look deeper and adds interest to your painting. Okay. Now I've taken in some black and removed as much as paint as I can. Let's go ahead and drop in. The separation between these rocks that's just like that so I'm gonna be everywhere just here and there hmm and this is a slight blend go with another layer of highlight not exactly in highlight but to make it look natural another coat create all sorts of shapes different angles some will not have shadow some will have that just like that and let's go ahead and drop in a few ripples now another fan brush let's drop in the ripples do something like that maybe a small waterfall yeah, looks good. 
Tak. Just like that. In more of white and drop that. Right over there. Look at that, that looks like a shallow river. Another type of rock is to just take in mid-tone color as usual. I'm just gonna drop in that right over here. Okay, something like that. And drop in that color. I'll not clean the brush. Rocks being irregular shapes. Okay, something like that. He's very sturdy and very strong. But let's go ahead and sculpt in this rock. I've taken in some white and some brown touch of orange on my manipulated flat brush. And let's do it like that. Just sort of adding in some depth and three-dimensionalness into the painting. Yeah. Look at that. These gray spots. I'll just go right over there and convert that into a shadow. Okay. And here it'll be fairly darker. And adding some textures two in one. And some over here too. Look at that. It's that he's using the manipulated flat brush. And some over there. You can try all sorts of things. You can scrub, but very lightly. You see if that's working. And there we have a rock. So now we have to highlight this. And I'll follow that same spot where I find lighter color. Just follow the way it goes. And just tap it. Of course, you can skip some spots. Yeah. Just like that. I'm going to tap it. With this, we wrap up today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.